The Japanese government is going to allow two nuclear power plants that are under construction to be completed. The announcement came just days after the government introduced a ban on all new nuclear plant projects. We've reached the maximum allotment of high quality digital content and up to the minute information the human brain can adequately process. Construction permits and plans for new nuclear plants have already been given the green light. The ban does not mean permits for nuclear plants currently under construction will be cancelled. Japan's new nuclear regulatory panel will be launched on Wednesday. Fujimura says it will have the final say. Work has already begun on two new plants in Aomori Prefecture, northern Japan, and Shimane Prefecture, western Japan. The government's new energy policy aims to make Japan nuclear-free by 2030. The chief of the now defunct Nuclear Safety Commission has opened up about last year's Fukushima accident. Japanese leaders have just replaced the body with the new Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Chair of the old commission, Haruki Madarame, said the body had not been prepared for what happened. I hope the new regulatory body will re-examine safety standards and be able to properly judge the behavior of the nuclear power companies. Madarame also said the new commission should be transparent with the public. Analysts criticized the Nuclear Safety Commission for failing to prevent the Fukushima Daiichi accident or limit its effects. Critics say the body was overly influenced by the government and the power industry. Just think funny Japan is set to launch a new nuclear watchdog later today. The aim is to improve safety at nuclear power plants nationwide following the Fukushima accident last year. And there's these guys. We took them camping for fun. It's another bullshit experiment. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission will start operations to replace the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency. The agency was criticized for its lack of independence. The new commission will be detached from the Economy, Trade and Industry Ministry, which promoted nuclear power. It will review safety regulations for nuclear plants and set standards to resume operations. It will also determine if plants operating 40 years or more should remain online. The government initially wanted to launch the commission in April. The schedule was delayed after the Diet rejected member candidates. A new government regulatory agency to support the commission will also be launched on Wednesday. Its 500 officials will be taking instructions from the commission's five members. Well, my name is uh, Dale Klein. I'm a former chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to work with uh, TEPCO as an independent advisory committee member looking at the accident of Fukushima. As we all know, Fukushima had a lot of impact worldwide. It's very important that the citizens of Japan and the world understands what happened what actions can be taken to make nuclear power safer, how we can meet our energy needs for the world. And so this opportunity to participate with TEPCO and with the citizens of Japan is an opportunity that I hope I can contribute both to the educational activities, safety culture, safety programs, to make our energy more reliable, safe, secure for the citizens of Japan, and where we can take lessons learned from this accident to apply them worldwide so that nuclear power can continue to play an important safe and secure role of our energy needs. The American Nuclear Society present head presidential citation award about Fukushima, Japan rapid response presented to, wait for it, this shady character Daily Klein. Listen to what a scumbag the Japanese want to advise them supposedly independently on nuclear matters. He will be a one of five member of the team. Here's what the award said. In recognition of his contributions to the response to events in Fukushima, 
Japan in order to ensure credible nuclear science and technology information was provided to the media. Wait a fucking minute, the media has not done shit to report this anyway. He informed the fucking media, decision makers and general public. Holy crap, this Dale character is one of only five guys who is going to serve as an independent panel on Japan's Nuclear Advisory Committee. The article goes on to say, it is the dedication of members such as Dale Klein who enable the society to be relevant and a strong advocate for the nuclear community as a whole. Dated June, 2011. So really, he's not independent. He won't inform the media, decision makers or the general public of anything as he has not informed anyone of anything critical to date. If he warned anyone, it was only the IAEA or the NRC, because clearly, the media and general public has not heard crap about Fukushima. こんにちは、大前健一です。この度、東京電力の原子力改革監視委員会のメンバーに就任いたしました。私は去年、事故が起こった後、ずっとテレビなどを見ながらですね、この格納容器まで、圧力容器だけじゃなくて格納容器の底まで抜けてるんじゃないかということを3月に YouTube などで発表いたしました。で事故の分析を去年1年かけてやったわけですけれどもそして今ご覧いただいた本を今年出版いたしましたでこの中でですね見ていただくと分かるんですけれども今回の福島第一の事故原因これはまあ物理的な原因というものがまずあってそれに対して組織や人がどう対応したかということを究明していくべきなんですけれども今までに4つの事故調というものがいろいろと行われましたけれどもいずれもですねこの物理的な原因あるいはまたその自然災害、まあ、津波のせいとかそういうものにして本当の事故の原因というのを分析していないと思っておりますでそのためにですね、えー、対策の方も、えー、後手後手に回るというか国民の納得できるようなものが対策が提案されてない、まあ、この度東電がこれを自らの責任においてやろうということを聞きましたので、まあ、私なりの貢献ができるのではないかと思って、えー、この委員会に参画することにいたしました、えー、分析の力がなかったのかあるいは隠蔽体質があるのか今まで東電はこの福島について少なくとも私の意見とはだいぶ違う見解を出しております、えー、この辺についてですね、えー、私なりに、えー、まあ、勝って原子炉の炉心設計をやってたものとしてもですね今回の事故というものをですね国名に分析して国民に分かりやすく説明しそしてまた対策ももしあるとすればどういうものかということを提示していったらいいと思います、まあ、こういう点でですね他の委員の方と協力しながらこの作業に参画させていただきたいと思っておりますどうぞよろしくお願いいたしますで、私は昨年12月初めから本年の7月初めまで国会に設けられました福島原発事故の調査委員会の委員をしておりましてその関係で様々な観点から今回の福島事故についての検証をさせていただきましたでそのような経験を生かしまして東京電力が今後これらについ
Scientists from Japan and the United States have launched a large-scale smart grid project in the state of New Mexico. Three. Good job. Japan's New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization and the New Mexico government are collaborating on the experiment in Los Alamos. Smart grid technology aims to balance the supply and demand of electricity with renewable energy sources. In the project, 2,000 households are connected to power line networks that deliver electricity. This system can choose the cheapest available energy. This includes solar and electricity stored at night. The system can also source power from batteries even during electrical outages caused by lightning or tornadoes. I hope we can work together with the United States, the leading country in this field, to prove the stability of the system. The experiment will continue for another year and a half. We've reached the maximum allotment of high-quality digital content and up-to-the-minute information the human brain can adequately process. Yeah.